Russia is blaming the United States for a Ukrainian attack on Crimea. It marks a new escalation in tensions between Russia and the West. Moscow has summoned the U.S. ambassador to warn that it will retaliate. At least four people were reportedly killed in the attack on Sunday and over 150 wounded. Some of the injured are being transferred to Moscow for treatment. Russia claims long-range attack missiles were used, like those seen here. The Kremlin says the weapons were supplied by Washington and programmed by U.S. specialists. The Pentagon denies responsibility, arguing that Ukraine makes its own targeting decisions and conducts its own operations. And we can get more from DW's Russian affairs analyst, Konstantin Egert, who joins us now from Vilnius. Konstantin, good to see you again. So Russia claims the U.S. bears responsibility for these attacks on Sevastopol. How are they justifying their accusation and do they have any evidence for their claims? Uh, first, Nicole, the answer to your last question, there is no evidence, uh, as usually there is none. Uh, this is a very clear uh, propaganda cliche, uh, which aims at convincing the Russian people that it's not the war with or against Ukraine. It is a war with the West and against the West. The West is attacking Russia. And that's why there is such a reaction to attack uh, missile strike uh, on the Crimea. The fact that uh, the uh, Russian government or the, the Russian foreign ministry uh, called in the U.S. ambassador to uh, protest it uh, means to highlight this idea of confrontation with the U.S. But frankly speaking, uh, I think there will be more such strikes and there will be still as little evidence as now that the U.S. forces are really directing these strikes or taking any kind of active part in launching the missiles. Would you say is none? So from from what I gather from what you're saying is that they're playing to a domestic audience, then how concerned should the West, should the US in this case, be about warnings like this then? Well, look, Putin is issuing such warnings pretty much every week. Uh, we keep hearing about nuclear missiles, changes in nuclear doctrine, but what he does, what his forces are doing, is pretty much the same. He's striking mostly civilian targets in Ukraine with long-range artillery. I'm, I'm certain by now we pretty much know what could be the response in terms of purely military methods. I don't think that Putin has anything more, any, any, any more surprises up his sleeve. What we've seen recently is a very suspicious fires which look like uh, acts of sabotage in the European Union. I think that if Russia really wants to show that it's very serious in responding, we, we may presume, or we, we, we can surmise that Eventually, there will be some kind of Russia-linked saboteurs that may try to blow up something in the U.S. That could be uh, a possibility. But I do not think it will ever stop uh, strikes by U.S. weapons uh, launched by Ukrainian crews against Russian targets. 